One of the things that I realized that horror movies suck nowadays. Things aren't like the shine the sword of thing. Hey guys, welcome to this video. And I just wanted to make this video off of really a tangent of things I've just been seeing lately. I'm 24 years old, okay? I grew up with old values. My parents installed in me the old wisdom while me still having a lot of the new age wisdom with a lot of the new age problems that we deal with now in society. I've noticed that nowadays everything just freaking sucks. It's either it sucks or it's mid or it's just trash or some sort of controversy going around it. Someone made a bad decision. I mean, I'm going to get into it in this video. First of all, what has happened to horror movies? I've noticed that there's way more psychological horror movies nowadays than there ever has been. I've noticed that nowadays everyone wants to have some sort of trick, some sort of trend, some sort of viral moment in their movie. Megan had a viral a moment in that amazing dance that we all seen a billion times on the internet. What happened next? Abigail did the exact same thing. I'm not saying Abigail was trash, but I think we can all collectively agree that Megan was better. My point is that Abigail copied Megan instead of just being his own thing. And that's something I'm starting to see a lot of nowadays. People are copying each other and not learning from their mistakes. Sorry for the jump scare, but now we go into Jeepers Creepers. Even saying his name or hearing a song back in the day used to give me chills in the back of my neck. But guess what happened? Yeah, you can go ahead and burn that with fire. Fire. But I digress. Next, we get into the controversy. Shipped Up is a Korean studio found out by Kim Jong Tae in Korea. They're Koreans who speak Korean and know Korean ways. And they made a classic hit called Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade took the world by storm being a hack and slash classic of dark soul proportions. Stellar Blade bodies even based off a real life woman. So, what do you think happened? I mean, I don't know where you are, but from here, it's easy to see. I mean, got I me. Mean, we're all adults here, right? I mean, you got to even get the game. I mean, not adults shouldn't be able to get the game unless parents buy the game for them, right? Right? That wouldn't happen, right? Now that we covered that, there shouldn't be a problem with there being uncensored outfits in the game, right? But a whole bunch of loud and low self-esteem people made a problem of it. Guys, I hate to be that guy, but the game really did get censored. There are so many outfits that you can just clearly tell that the game got censored, unfortunately. What happened to that? Well, clearly more controversy. Guys, I want to make this clear as day. This is straight up wrong. The game was not supposed to be censored in any way, shape, or form. The Free Star Blade petition has over 80,000 signatures. Doesn't that tell you something? This article is in Gamer Rant, by the way, and Sony has been refunding copies of the game for false advertising. That's crazy. Guys, the game was supposed to be uncensored, and on day one, the game got censored. Which brings me to my next bit. If we keep restricting the artist's freedom, everything is going to be the same. Everything is going to eventually suck because everything's going to be a carbon copy of something else. One day you're going to play an adult game and you're going to look like Kanye and Lil Pump. Stellar Blade dared to be different. It dared to give people what they wanted. Because instead of simply not purchasing something you don't like, people wanted to make sure no one could purchase what they liked. Freedom is the thing that we need to give these companies who want to give us something different. And a cult classic. Well guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. By the way, who the heck buys a good gaming company just to shut it down? That's crazy. Easy.